Welcome to this video in which I am going to present the paper in title Examples of Good Practices in Teacher Training through Erasmus Plus Projects, based on a research work that is being carried out within the University of Salamanca PhD program on education and knowledge society with the mentoring of Francisco José García Peñalbo. Let's start with a few information related to their research. Through this research work, we are looking for the most outstanding educational practices that have worked adequately in a group of area pre and projects, level as a good practice or success story and linked with e-learning and information and communication technologies. This article focuses on five examples of projects classified as good practice or success stories related to teacher training as a result of the analysis that is being carried out. The examples show how to work towards a better specialization of the teaching staff and serve as inspiration to design training practices that encourage initial and continuous learning and professional improvement of teaching methods, in turn influencing the improvement of the educational system. Regarding the methodology for this research, it follows the guidelines specified in systematic reviews of research projects, which provides an overview of the current trends and identifies the lacks and opportunity to define new advances in the area of research. Besides, they provide the possibility to compare between closed projects and get a picture of the evolution of technological ecosystems in the field. The procedure implies four stages, study definition, screening definition, project selection and analysis, and presently we are undertaking the last one. Let's go to review the different stages of the analysis phase. The first stage for the analysis was to gather the main results and, conduct, and contact data from the sampled projects on the Asmus Plus project results platform. After that, a survey was conducted in order to get more detailed information. 187 projects participated in it and from then 22 projects that attend to real needs of students and teachers were sustainable over time and useful for the institutions involved, volunteer for an interview phase. Once the interview phase was finished, Two focus groups have been developed in, with a total of 13 projects. As a result of this analysis stages, five projects linked to teacher training have been selected to offer samples of successful projects in each of the educational sectors with which the indicated search is being work on. The example one related to school education worked in the development of schools through art and emotional intelligence trying to reduce social exclusion and improve equity. The example two related to vocational education and training involved the training on safety assessment and management for new and innovative children's products. The third example of higher education is a massive open online course for palliative clinical field and intercultural multilingual medical communication. The fourth focus on adults and worked in developing skills in dealing with emergencies. And finally, the fifth of youth is connected with current soft and digital skills through non-formal free time practices. As regards to the results and conclusions, we have that all the projects have passed all the stages of the research analysis and involve teachers or students. The result con con results continue to be useful even in the pandemic. All of them are related to teacher training. The starting point in the five projects is that they met the real needs of the sector or area for which they are carried out, in addition to having the necessary resources thanks to Erasmus Plus funds. Furthermore, the training materials were developed in different modalities of digital platforms and can be assessed at any time, which gives great flexibility to the learning process. 
All these fast facts have given rise to a success in the teaching process by integrating the tool and materials in their daily practice and curricula. Finally, the only thing left at this stage of the research is to finish the data analysis in greater depth, to write the thesis and the methodology to achieve successful educational projects. Thank you very much for your interest and I'll be very happy to reply any questions that you may have regarding the paper. Here you can find my contact details.